Now joining us, one of the people holding up an agreement uh, to fund the government, Florida Republican Congressman Matt Gates. Uh, Congressman, thank you very much for being here this morning. Oh, thank you. I, I'm glad I get to respond to your monologue, because if you're saying that I'm standing in the way of all the Republican wins, I'd love you to enumerate them. Watching my friend and mentor, Jim Jordan, it was it was quite painful because he started by saying we should only pick one fight, the border. But then as the interview went on, he said, well, we should pick a second fight, Jack Smith. And by the time the interview rounded out, he was saying that we shouldn't be funding Ukraine without a plan. And yet the very continuing resolution that you and Jim Jordan seem to be for continues to have $300 million more for Ukraine. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and I'm not working with Chuck Schumer or any other Democrat. Florida Jackaloon Matt Gates shot back at Fox host Maria Bartiroma in a wild back-and-forth interview over the weekend. Bartiroma was prepared with a list of hard-hitting questions that left Matt Gates squirming and his voice shaking. Congressman, I understand, and that is why you are on this program this morning, because I want to give you a fair shot. And I want to get your, you uh, heard. So tell me why you are threatening Speaker McCarthy and trying to shut down this government uh, at a time that the Republicans have finally gotten some upper hands here uh, in terms of wins, able to investigate President Biden on what looks like uh, bribery. Yeah, we don't put our pencils down in the investigation of President Biden during a shutdown, so the premise is false. Second, if Kevin McCarthy was actually serious about pursuing the Bidens, he would have sent Hunter Biden a subpoena by now. Bartiroma come out swinging and introduced Gates as one of the people holding up the agreement to fund the government. Gates didn't like the negative tag and tried to reframe it into a positive light. One of the main tactics that these extremist nut jobs rely on is playing the victim and the hero at the same time. Gates immediately accused Bartram of reciting monologue to minimize the sting of getting tagged on the nose. That's how you know this is sort of failure theater that you're observing. At the, at, during the first year of Democrat control of the Congress, they brought in Donald Trump Jr. three times over nothing, over a nothing burger. And so we seem to be fundamentally unserious in our oversight. But what is serious is the fact that we are spending more than $7 trillion a year, bringing in around $5 trillion a year. And uh, it, I want to fund the government. I'm not pro-shutdown. But the way to fund the government is not the same way we've been doing it since the mid-90s, where it's one upper down down vote on the entire government all at once. We should have separate single subject spending bills. Kevin McCarthy promised that in January. He is in breach of that promise. So I'm not here to hold the government hostage. I'm here to hold Kevin McCarthy to his word. He tried to lump Bartiroma into a box with Jim Jordan to attack her credibility and started rambling off a list of talking points that he had prepared to attack Kevin McCarthy. So to push now to blow up all of the wins that you all have had now. Which seems wins? Please enumerate them. Well, OK. Well, how about the fact that he has set up a weaponization committee to investigate the DOJ, whether they're involved in a cover up? That's how about process. the fact that he is. Hold on. Wait how about the fact that he. Hold on. How about the fact that he has set up the China Select Committee to keep China to account? And of course, he has launched this uh, inquiry into impeachment, potentially, for President Biden. Is that not what you want? Matt Gates wanted McCarthy to subpoena Hunter Biden for questioning. There was nothing that McCarthy or James Comer could do because they had no evidence that connected him to any wrongdoing related to his business dealings in Ukraine. None of those things are deliverables. Those are steps in a process. The, setting up a committee is an end unto itself only in Washington, D.C. The American people demand results. Hold on, I'll let you talk, okay, Maria. Go ahead, these, go ahead. Co these committees have done nothing to reduce inflation. They've done nothing to actually constrain the Biden government. We can set up committees and have hearings and yell at people, but at the end of the day, if we still send the check to fund a weaponized government, having a weaponization subcommittee is little relief to the American American people. Matt Gates is playing a dangerous game of cat and mouse. If he succeeds in shutting down the government, uh, basically over the personal vendetta with Kevin McCarthy, he screws over the American public who depends on getting paid. If he fails and McCarthy agrees to the budget, then he loses all credibility. Gates asserted that it would be okay if the Department of Labor or the Department of Education shut down for a few days. His attitude was like nobody will even miss it. Nobody unless you actually work for those government agencies or for any other one at that matter. Gates used the same technique throughout the entire exchange with Bartiroma. He used the Departments of Education and Labor just like he used border security. More buzzwords for his brain-dead followers. 
Does he not realize that border agents are paid by the government? Is he so overcome by his own delusion of greatness that he can ignore and explain away the facts? Who is going to provide border security if you shut down the government, Matt? Are the people who get to do an honest day's work in a seamlessly thankless job? You want to stand up and rally for border security, but in the same breath you say that government agencies would be okay with a few days off? Do you expect the folks that work in the trenches every day to approve your own private war when it affects their lives? Matt Gates is willing to cut his nose off to spite his face, even though it would be an improvement. He will substitute someone else's nose as a sacrifice. Matt Gates is a spineless little worm who does his best to escape accountability. Maria Bartiromo nailed him when she pointed out that he was working with the Democrats behind the scenes. He denied it, just like he denied every other fact that she presented. Matt Gates is a moron, and that is an absolute fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.